Hello, welcome to Azure Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about Azure Databricks interview questions and answers. Let's start. What is Azure Databricks? Azure Databricks is an Apache Spark based analytics platform optimized for the Microsoft Azure Cloud Services platform. It is designed with the founders of Apache Spark. Databricks is integrated with Azure to provide one click setup, streamlined workflows, and an interactive workspace that enables collaboration between data scientists, data engineers, and business analysts. Azure Databricks is a fast, easy, and collaborative Apache Spark based analytics service. For a big data pipeline, the data is ingested into Azure through Azure Data Factory in batches or streamed near real time using Kafka, Event Hub, or IoT Hub. This data lands in a data lake for long term persistent storage or in Azure Blob Storage. As part of our analytics workflow, we use Azure Databricks to read data from multiple data sources such as Azure Blob Storage, Azure Data Lake Storage, Azure Cosmos Database, or Azure SQL Data Warehouse, and turn it into breakthrough insights using Spot. What components are included in Spark in Azure Databricks? Azure Databricks comprises the complete open source Apache Spark cluster technologies and capabilities. Those components are Spark SQL and data frames, streaming, MLlib, GraphX, Spark Core API. What is Spark SQL and data frames? Spark SQL is the Spark module for working with structured data. A data frame is a distributed collection of data organized into named columns. It is conceptually equivalent to a table in a relational database or data frame in R Python. What is streaming? Streaming is real-time data processing and analysis for analytical and interactive application. It integrates with HDFS, Plum, and Kafka. What is MLlib? Machine learning library consisting of common learning algorithms and utilities, including classification, regression, clustering, collaborative filtering, dimensionality reduction, as well as underlining optimization primitives. What is graphic? Graphs and graph computation for a broad scope of use cases from cognitive analytics to data exploration. The last one, what is Spark Core API? The Spark Core API includes support for R, SQL, Python, Scala, and Java. What are the types of runtimes Azure Databricks offers? Azure Databricks offers several types of runtimes. They are Databricks runtime. Databricks runtime for machine learning, Databricks runtime for genomics, and Databricks Lite. What is Databricks runtime? Databricks runtime includes Apache Spark, but also adds a number of components and updates that substantially improve the usability, performance, and security of big data analytics. What is Databricks runtime for machine learning? Databricks runtime for machine learning is built on Databricks runtime and provides a ready to go environment for machine learning and data science. It contains multiple popular libraries, including TensorFlow, Keras, PyTorch, and XGBoost. What is Databricks runtime for genomics? It is a version of Databricks runtime optimized for working with genomic and biomedical data. What is Databricks Lite? Databricks Lite is the Azure Databricks packaging of the open source Apache Spark runtime. 
it provides a runtime option for jobs that don't need the advanced performance, reliability, or auto scaling benefits provided by Databricks runtime. What is Databricks file system? Databricks file system is a distributed file system mounted into a Databricks workspace and available on Databricks cluster. Databricks file system is an abstraction on top of scalable object storage and offers several benefits. DBFS allows us to mount storage objects so that we can seamlessly access data without requiring credentials. Databricks file system allows us to interact with object storage using directory and file semantics instead of storage URLs. It persists files to object storage so we won't lose data after we terminate a cluster. What is workspace? The workspace is an environment for accessing all of our Azure Databricks assets. The workspace organizes objects into folders and provides access to data objects and computational resources. So what are the objects contained in the Azure Databricks workspace folders? Notebook, dashboard, library, and experiment. What is notebook? A, a notebook is a web-based interface to documents that contain runnable commands, visualization, and narrative text. When we create a cluster, we need to create a notebook where we can choose a language or Stella Python SQL. So once we choose that language, then we can run these uh, commands using whatever language we choose. And what is dashboard? A dashboard is an interface that provides organized access to visualizations. What is a library? Library is a package of code available to the notebook or job running on our cluster. Databricks runtimes include many libraries and we can add our own. What is experiment? Experiment is a collection of ML flow runs for training a machine learning model. What are the clusters? A Databricks cluster is a set of computation resources and configurations on which we run data engineering, data science, and data analytics workloads such as production ETL pipeline, streaming analytics, ad hoc analytics, and machine learning. What are the notebooks? A notebook is a web-based interface to a document that contains runnable code, visualizations, and narrative text. So when we create a Databricks workspace in Azure and we have to create a cluster and after that we need to create a notebook and we can choose the language that we just discussed if you are good with R, if you are good with Python or SQL, or SQL. so we can choose the language and we can run those commands in this notebook. What is Delta Lake? Delta Lake is an open source storage layer that brings reliability to data lakes. Delta Lake provides asset transactions, scalable metadata handling, and unified streaming and batch data processing. Delta Lake runs on top of our existing data lake and is fully compatible with Apache Spark API. The Delta Lake specifically offers asset transactions on Spark. And also it offers scalable metadata handling streaming and batch unification, schema enforcement, time travel and upsets and deletes. What is Delta Engine? Delta Engine is a high performance Apache Spark compatible query engine that provides an efficient way to process data in data lake, including data stored in open source Delta Lake. 
Delta engine optimizations make Delta Lake operations highly performant, supporting a variety of workloads ranging from large scale ETL processing to ad hoc interactive queries. What is structured streaming? Structured streaming is the Apache Spark API that lets us express computation on streaming data in the same way we express a batch computation on static data. The Spark SQL engine performs the computation incrementally and continuously updates the result as streaming data arrives. What is MLflow? MLflow is an open source platform for managing the end-to-end -end machine learning lifecycle. It has some primary components. We will discuss it in detail, tracking, models, projects, model registry, and model serving. Tracking allows us to track experiments to record and compare parameters and results. Models allows us to manage and deploy models from a variety of ML libraries to a variety of model serving and interference platform. Projects allow us to package ML code in a reusable, reproducible form to share with our data scientists or transport to production. Model registry allows us to centralize the model store for managing models full life cycle stage transition from staging to production with capabilities of for versioning and annotating. Model serving allows us to host MLflow models as REST endpoints. Can I use Azure Key Vault to store key secrets to be used in Azure Databricks? Yes, we can use. We can use Azure Key Vault to store key secrets for use with Azure Databricks. Azure Key is where we can store certificates, keys, and all the information. So we can use Azure Key Vault to store key secrets to be used in Azure Databricks. Can I use Azure Virtual Networks with Databricks? As we can use Azure Virtual Networks with Azure Databricks. How do I access Azure Data Lake storage from a notebook? An Azure Active Directory provision a service principle and records its key. And after that, assign the necessary permissions to the service principle in Data Lake Storage. To access file in Data Lake Storage, use the principal credentials in Notebook. So you can access Azure Data Lake Storage from a notebook. And if you still want to know, like, you know how to access this, there is a module available in my channel. Uh, create a Databricks, uh, a Spark job in Azure Databricks. Please go through how to access that uh, storage, how to access Azure Data Lake storage from your notebook. How to discover a, how to discover who deleted a workspace in Azure portal. When we deploy Azure uh, Databricks workspace, we can check in the activity log. So if you think like, you know, uh, if our workspace has disappeared or been deleted, we can identify which user deleted by checking the activity log in the Azure portal. When you, when you go to the Databricks workspace in Azure portal, on the left pane, you can see the uh, surveys and uh, uh, locations, all that, and you can see the monitor. But on top, of, on the left pane, you, you can see that activity log. This activity log shows like, you know, when we deployed this resource, when we stopped this resource. So you can check that like, you know, who deleted this workspace. How to discover who deleted a cluster in Azure portal. If a cluster in our workspace has disappeared or been deleted, we can identify which user deleted it by running a query in the log analytics workspace service in the Azure portal. So we can use that KQL. So when we create this log analytics workspace and we can uh, an Azure monitor, so we can go to that log analytics workspace, then we can run the query KQL. There are already some uh, like in Azure provides some built-in queries that you can run like, you know, if you're not good with KQL, you can run the queries that Azure already provides. So 
by running those queries, you can find who deleted a cluster in the Azure portal. How to analyze user interface performance issues? What is the problem? The Azure Databricks user interface seems to be running slowly. So what is the cause? User interface performance issues typically occur due to network latency or a database query taking more time than expected. So in order to troubleshoot this type of problem, we need to collect network logs and analyze them to see which network traffic is affected. How to dump tables in CSV, JSON, XML, text or HTML format. If we want to send results of our computations in Azure Databricks outside Azure Databricks, we can use BI tools to connect our cluster via JDBC and export results from the BI tools or save our tables in DBFS or block storage and copy data via REST API. So when I say BI tools, you can use Power BI to connect to export these results. So, so far in this module, we discussed Azure Databricks interview questions and answers. If you have any questions on this, please post in the comments. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.